So the first thing you want to do is create a new document and you can make whatever size you want but I'm going to make this easy on us and just make a square. I make it a thousand by a thousand pixels. Say OK. And the next thing you want to do is come over and grab your ellipse tool. That would be keyboard shortcut of L. You want to set the fill to none and the stroke, the color can be whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it a black. And I'm going to set the stroke size to 200. This is also depending on the size of your document, what you're doing, but this will work for now. I'm going to come down in the document and I have my smart guides turned on and now I know where the center is. So I'm going to click and before I start dragging out, I'm going to hold down the alt key to constrain it to a perfect circle and also hold down the shift key at the same time to drag it out from the center. And then I'll just drag out and I get a circle about yay big. And now we have the circle with this honking huge stroke. What you want to do next is come over to your appearance panel, click on the word stroke, and down where it says dashed line, you go ahead and check that. And for the number under the first dash, again this is up to you, but I'm going to go with 25. And the gap, we want to delete that, we don't want a number in there at all. And sometimes depending on your numbers and size of your documents, these aren't going to be spaced evenly and they'll overlap. So all you want to do is come over and select the option to the right and it will line everything up. Next thing you want to do with your object still selected is come up to Object, Expand Appearance, and then Object, Expand, making sure that Fill and Stroke are both selected and hit OK. And you end up with a bunch of little shapes and it doesn't look much like a radial because there's no middle. So let's fill that in. We're going to come over and grab the lasso tool. And I'm just going to draw a circle around to make sure I select all these shapes. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle and trust me with a mouse because my tablet's not here. It definitely won't be. And it doesn't look like anything actually happened, but we're going to come up to object again, come down to path, and then average, making sure both is selected and hit OK. Now we have our radial. I'm going to hit V to get the move tool and come down and get the center of my radial I just created. And I'm going to click and drag and bring that up to the upper left corner. And I'm kind of watching my guides to make sure it lines up right. And there it's lined up right. I'm going to hit control minus to zoom out a little bit. You don't have to do that, but I just like to see what I'm doing. And then hold down control and alt and click and drag so that I fill in the document. I'll hit V to get the move tool and then click anywhere to deselect. And when you see me moving around like that, if I hold down the space bar and then click with my left mouse button, I can drag the document around. Next thing I want to do, I'll select the radial again and come down to my swatches panel. And right now the, fill, the stroke is in front and I want the fill, so I'm just going to hit the keyboard shortcut of X. You can also click on them to bring one or the other to the front. Now that the fill is in front, you can see that we can pick a color, do whatever we want. And I know you had a gradient in your example. So rather than reinvent the wheel, I'm just going to come down and pick this gradient that they started with. And the only problem with this is it's actually backwards, but that's not a big deal. I'm just going to come up and click this icon and reverse the gradient. And I also want to change the colors because I can't even deal with looking at the pink. And there's a lot of ways to change colors, but I'm all about the quick and easy. So I'm going to come down to my swatches panel, grab this color, click and hold, and drag it up to the top of the color stop, and then let go, and it'll swap it out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So it's the same color going in and out. And now at least I don't have to look at pink, which is good. But it is all flopping outside our document, so in order to fix that, we're going to create a clipping mask. And we'll do that by coming up, and we'll get the rectangle tool this time. And I'm going to put my cursor in the top left, and click and drag down. Just make a square to fill in the document. Now I come over to the layers panel, and you can see that it made a rectangle above the group. And what we want to do is make sure that both are selected. With the rectangle being on top, we'll come up to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And now it cleans it up and makes it all nice and tidy. If you want to change the color of the rectangle, we'll just come over to the Layers panel, open the group up, we'll select the rectangle. 
and we can pick a color, whatever you want to pick. And if you don't like the gradient the way it is, we'll select that group. And then you can hit either the keyboard shortcut of G or come over and click on the gradient tool. And then I'll just click and drag. So I wanted to start from the top and come down. So I'll just click and drag. And now I think my gradient's backwards. So I'm just going to come up and reverse it again. I can't remember the way your pattern looked. That's why I'm saying that. But either way, all you have to do is reverse your gradient if it's going in the wrong direction. And now we have your um, pretty close to what you had before. And it's just a matter of choosing your colors and playing around and adjusting the gradient the way you want. Hopefully that helps, but if not, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try and see if I can make this clear. There you go.